What's up guys? The best early game horse in Red Dead Redemption 2 online is what I'm going to go ahead and cover in this video. I'm also going to talk a little bit about some of the other horses that you can access early on, as well as give you a little detailed comparison between a couple of them, and show you some in-race uh, video of the horse performing. So, I do say early game, and some people might think, you know, what exactly does that mean? When I say that, I'm talking about up to level 21. Now, I ended up creating a male character, ended up getting up to about level 15 just in a couple of days, and then I ended up deleting that character and created the female character, and I'm already up to about level 22 now. So early game, I do consider the first 20 levels because between races and missions and getting all your achievements unlocked, you can get a lot of XP. So here we are in the stable to look at some horses. You will notice some of the early horses that you do get in that first mission will probably be some good horses to stick with. You have the Kentucky Saddler, you also have the Morgan, and then the Tennessee Walker. Now the Saddler and the Morgan basically have the same speed set as far as 3 and 2. If unfortunately you did end up getting the Tennessee Walker, then you really need to go ahead and upgrade your horse because it only has a speed stat of 2 and 2. Now, there will be another horse that will unlock at level 6, which is the Belgian Draft Horse, which is a pretty good horse. It starts out with the stat of 3 and 3. And then there are some horses that you can get you know, a little bit further up once you get into, like, say, level 10 to level 18, I do not recommend getting those horses. What I would advise you guys to do is either stick with your main horse, get the horse bonding up, get the acceleration and the horse health up, and then just go all the way up until level 21 with that horse, or if you're going to go ahead and make a switch, then what I suggest you do is get the Belgian Draft Horse when it becomes available at level 6. It will have a speed stat of 3 and 3, and then you can go ahead and take that horse all the way up until level 21, and then that'll be the horse, you know, that you guys will have for a while after that. So now we're going to get into the saddles. You'll notice that the saddles do give you some core drain rate, regeneration rate, regain rate. And then you also have the stirrups, which will unlock a little bit later, I think after like level 15 or somewhere between 15 and 18. And you'll notice until you get down to the slime line stirrup, you're not going to see any bonuses for speed and acceleration. So that is the one that you're looking for. The next one would be the uh, one that is unlocked at level four, 40, I'm sorry, the bell stirrup, that one will give you an additional bonus on top of that. So you're going to go ahead and look with the stirrups and everything on the draft horse. I have a level of four and four, which is pretty decent. Again, that one comes standard at three and three. So like I was saying, if you plan on buying a horse, I would recommend you definitely buy this horse at level six and then concentrate on getting this one maxed out to level 10, get your horse bonding up, and then wait until you get to level 21 to purchase your next horse. That is, if you're not going to go ahead and stick with your original horses, and then just ride out until level 21 when the next best horse becomes available. So the good things about this horse, you'll notice when you buy it, it has more stamina than those horses that you started out with. This horse is a heavy horse, so it means it's going to be a little tougher to control, it's a little tighter. The good thing about this horse as well is because it is a bigger horse, it can take a lot more contact when you're in races, and you won't go down as easy. You know, I did buy this horse at level 6, and that's kind of the route I went. Bought it with level 6, and then waited until I got to level 21. So I've kind of maxed this horse out to a certain point. Actually, it's, I think in this clip, I don't know exactly what level it is, but it's not a bad horse. Like I said, if you're going to choose to pick something other than your starter horses, this is the one to get. Don't go buy a horse that, that you unlock at level 15 or 16 because the best early game horse is going to be available at 11 tw level 21 and that's going to include that upgraded stirrups and the upgraded saddle that you can add on to increase the overall speed and acceleration. So here we are with the best early game horse and it is going to be unlocked at level 21. It is a race horse and it is the American Standard Breed. It comes standard with a speed stat of 4 and 3 and at that time, you will be able to go ahead and upgrade it with the stirrups in the saddle. So I think now I am at 5 and 4 for speed and acceleration. This horse is a lot faster than any other horse that I've, I've raced with or uh, ridden. I've stolen some horses in the wild and tested them out. And I would say for the price of this horse and how early you can get it, this is going to be the best horse that you can get. And it will last you all the way up until about level 30 as being the best horse. So... Concentrate on getting this horse. Once you get it, just max it out and ride with this horse for a while. If you're a racer, this horse is going to be great for you. If you're just in free roam, this horse is also great to get out of trouble or to get your, your neck right into the thick of things and, uh, you know, have some fun. So the reason why I'm making this video is because if you think about buy, buying a second horse, 
that means you also have to purchase a second stable, which is another $100, and then purchase price of another horse is going to be about another $125 to $150, and then if you were to go ahead and add insurance onto that, it's going to rack you up about another $125. So you're looking at somewhere between, let's say, roughly $400 to go ahead and purchase a second horse, or you could go ahead and replace that first horse you got in the beginning of the game, purchase the horse, and then, you know, you're really only going to be paying about $150 if you get the insurance. Maybe throw on another $125, so somewhere between $250 and $300. So there are other horses that will be unlocked later on, like once you get into level 12, 15, 17. But primarily, you're going to have to either choose between your starter horses or that Belgian draft horse. There's not really any other horses that open up for another, like, uh, I'd say five to eight levels from there. So... The good thing about the Belgian Draft Horse is it is a bigger horse, so it will be able to take a little bit more contact. The negatives with it, it is a big horse, so the handling is heavy, so it means that you have to really be careful when you're trying to turn that you slow up a little bit or else the horse will just go where it, where it wants to. You'll see in this clip here, I am with the, the racehorse that I just purchased that unlocked at level 21. I got my upgraded stirrups and my saddle, and you'll see for this guy here, I've been chasing him for a while. I think I had some kind of collision, both of us ended up dying, this guy ended up making off scot-free, and you'll see how quick that this horse is actually able to, you know, reel him in and make up the distance, and then not only after he makes a mistake on his own, but able to blow by him and nobody's able to catch up to me. Now if you're not into racing as much and you're looking for just a horse to get around with, then you know, maybe this isn't the best horse for you or maybe you don't want to wait until level 21, maybe you want to go ahead and pick something else out. But this horse is great to get from point A to point B fast. It has great uh, endurance, kind of like the Belgian Draft Horse. It's just this one is a lot faster. This one is a race horse, so it has racing handling. So it pretty much moves where you want it to, which sometimes can be great to get in and out of things. And sometimes, <clears throat> excuse me, it can put you in a bad situation because if you don't pay attention, you hit a little to the right or left, you know, you could end up going into a tree, off the side of a cliff, or into another player. So I guess it all comes down to your preference on what you prefer. I prefer this horse out of all the horses that I've had and even horses that I've ridden in the wild. This is by far the best early horse. I definitely recommend you go ahead and getting this once it unlocks. And especially at this point, like I said, you will have the upgraded stirrups and the saddle, which will make this horse even that much better. And I did mention early in the video, there are some other horses that unlock at like level 24, level 28, but none of them are gonna compare to this horse, the upgraded version. So the next available, American Stand and Bread will be the best horse that will be around until you get up to level 30 and sometimes even higher. I think the speed set on that one will start out at I think 6 and the acceleration will be 5. So that's a huge bonus earlier, early on in the game. And I do a lot of racing. Racing is a great way to go ahead and build up your horse's endurance and your horse's overall health as far as leveling that up. And it's a great way to go and make you know, a little bit of money but also get some experience, have a lot of fun. So I really like the racing aspect of it. So I think that American Standard Breed is the best horse for that. It also is one of the best horses to navigate around in free room because like I said, you can go anywhere pretty quickly. You can travel long distances going full speed. And if you need to escape from people, you know, that's a great horse to have where you're not losing wind, you know, as you get 20 feet away from him and your horse is just bucking and as you're getting shot up. So we have another clip coming up where I'm going to show, oh, you see this, this is where I got that clip from where I started the video off, thought it was pretty funny as I was spectating after I ended up finishing that race. But the next clip shows you here, I'm not sure exactly what horse he has, he could have the black version of this American Standard Breed, I'm not exactly sure, I'd have to look at the hooks again to see if that one does in fact have weight at the bottom. But regardless, me and this guy were racing a lot. Not many people that you can find that will actually just be a straight up racer instead of trying to kill you every chance that they get. This one does get a little hectic toward the end as we're getting close to the finish line. But you'll see we're, we're being pretty respectful of each other. It's kind of it's nice, especially I think this is one of my first races or second race with this new horse. So I really wanted to test out the speed, the stamina, and the acceleration. So we're both pretty much neck and neck. We keep switching after every turn back and forth. And you'll notice I'm swerving back and forth a little bit because I know there's a jackass behind me trying to shoot me. So I've learned, you know, toward the end of the race, you're better off trying to swerve back and forth even if you lose a little bit of ground. It's better finishing in second place than getting shot right at the finish line and ending all the way in the back. So hopefully this video will help you out decide if you want to go ahead and stick with your early horses and just, you know, get the bonding up, get their stamina and their health up. And that'll, you know, make their performance that much better. Or you could go and buy that Belgian Draft Horse 
or any of those other horses that unlock somewhere between level 10 and 12, I mean 10 and 20. But this is gonna be the best horse for your money, the best investment. We spend so much time on our horses that, you know, I think it's crucial that you pick out a horse that is gonna be, you know, the best as far as with the stats. And if you race, you know, that's just gonna make things better for you. So neck and neck, we're kind of battling, kind of making a little bit of contact. We're getting shot up here. So at this point, I'm figuring second place is better than finishing in last. So who cares? If I kept going straight ahead, I probably would have smoked this guy, but that's the way things go. Hopefully this video helps you out figuring what horse you're gonna stick with, what horses you can look forward to, and the possibilities of, you know, the most uh, useful thing that you have in the game besides your weapons. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.